And listen, you talk about unique environments in college basketball. Obviously, Allen Fieldhouse, Cameron Indoor, the kennel would be one of them. But Mark Few, what did he tell us today about playing in this building? To wanting to compete and be good at basketball. Santa Clara is a good basketball team. Yeah, we'll talk a lot about the West Coast Conference and how the season's going. Nice pass, Timmy, to Anton Watson for the dunk. He went on his church mission and just came back this summer. So he missed two years of playing. No basketball has been thrown right into the mix. Priori is going to dunk it home. Who made the pass up? Mates trying to make them more comfortable. Read the double on the on-ball screen. Help side defense. Just Good job in defensive transition for BYU early in this game, trying to get back and make things a half-court contest. Well, that was sloppy. And Traore is going to dunk it home. Plus, they called a foul. Hey being slotted a little loose with the ball great hands by Johnson to put just to deflect that one away and then a little tap on the shoulders that's bring a guy off the bench for a short stint and he gives you that we've got two guys in the studio that have won a lot of games coaching in, in Seth Greenberg and Tom Green and I'm sure they'll tell you and all the inside production Zag still can make an outside shot that was Malachi Smith Gonzaga's run continues they try to tie it up and that's exactly what Jackson Robinson did Williams goes right down the lane to count the basket plus a foul. Defense optional early in this contest so far. Both teams with great rhythm and flow and confidence at the offensive end. We've seen this a couple of times. That on-ball screen and ball handlers being able to turn that corner. Williams venture to say the Rock believes that that was a flop. Good thing is the fans here, they take it in stride. <laughs> Down the court, Hall turned. Oh, and how about that? Nice play. That Carl Ravitch and Jimmy Dykes were on the call for. That's a team that's really struggling. And Rick Barnes' team is playing like they want to go play in the final four. Count the basket plus a foul. And again, look who's making that pass. It's, it's Drew Timmy. It. Smith, dangerous pass, and it was stolen. Pull up three. Good, Spencer Johnson. And it just has been year after year. BYU need, they've had some good wins. They've beaten Creighton. They've beaten a good Utah team. Scramble for the loose ball. Zags have it. Two on one. Smith scores. Spencer Johnson rejected. What a block from Strother. That have led to run outs and have not created any separation between these two teams. Robinson, long way outside, it goes. Shot clock under 10. Williams got to go. Williams had it stripped away. Tough shot with a hand in his face. Why not? That's exactly what it looked like. Didn't see the defender. Williams down the lane. Now he's feeling like he can make anything. Williams, Robinson, three, good! That is such a high-level play. Strother only has five points. That was a good effort play, though. Timmy, spin move, left hand, good, and a foul. So, where they're going to have to execute clean, and a little short roll to the elbow area. Isolate and go. Gonzaga defensively is chasing. Strother, three is good. That's a big shot for him. Win a billion there. Yeah. Maybe I won't see you on Saturday. <laughs> Tap back rebound. Timmy's got it. Timmy, nice spin move to dunk it home. And it's a five-point game. Timmy runs the floor. Two-shot fakes and then lays it in. Plus a foul. Towards the second half. And then the awareness. You have George, one shot fake. There's the two sh second shot fake, and then the reach from behind on Johnson. Hickman, Salas, wide open. Three is good. He doesn't make a lot of them. That's a huge one from Hunter Salas. Gets evaporated. Hickman dribbles into the gap. You help off a ball side corner. You can never help off a ball side corner. If you lift and help, that is a long closeout. Salas, who has not given a lot of offense at all tonight. Rudy Williams getting big time minutes. Gideon George, three. Good! No hesitation. 
BYU just 62 seconds away from a massive win. That was a terrible inbound pass. Hickman three. Good! And this happens. You can ill afford to throw this pass and have it be a live ball turnover. We talked about Salas hitting the big shot. How about Hickman? Hadn't hit anything all night long. That Strother for the Zags. He'll shoot the three. Got it! It's good! Gonzaga leads by one. 9.5 seconds to go. No, no, no. In transition, Julian Strother settles. They go under as Drew Timmy is kind of setting a faux screen as he comes down the middle of the lane. Watch Robinson go under. As soon as he goes under Drew Timmy, Strother goes, hey, I've got an open look. I'm and it is Rudy Williams across midcourt. Gives it up. Spencer Johnson double teamed, kept his balance. Two seconds. Johnson shot blocked. Tip ball. And another win on the road for Gonzaga. 75-74. How do they keep doing it? Uh, it's unbelievable. And not only that the fact that they won this game, but in similar fashion to a week ago in San Francisco, they didn't really even get a shot off. I mean, that was a, not a great possession and not well executed for BYU in that final moment. They fought so hard all night long, but the defense, they just switched everything, and Spencer Johnson had nowhere to go. There's your shot attempt. It never got even close. I thought Rudy Williams should have probably kept this one. I would have set an on-ball screen for him and let him attack and let your shooter space the floor. Instead, everybody was kind of jumbled up. Boost Traore was right there, didn't get a clean look, and a huge win and escape win. And that has been the mantra for Gonzaga in these three road games. Doesn't matter how you do it, just do it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.